Hello. Hi everyone. Welcome to Selenium Python training program. Today we are going to discuss about weights. So immediately a quick question will rise in our mind. What exactly this weight is? Uh, is that really important for us uh, to perform automation testing? Yes, of course. So weights are used for synchronization purpose in a real world. An example for this one is uh, assume that uh, in a previous scenario, we created a test script for Salesforce login and then performing further operations, right? If you remember that particular test script, after clicking on create a user button, we give time dot asleep for few seconds, roughly five seconds or six seconds. We have a given that the reason is whenever you perform a click operation on that particular button, it will take a minimum few seconds of time to load the next page. For suppose if we haven't given this a time dot asleep, what it will happen means your web driver program will perform a click operation on a user immediately it will try to identify the object in the next page as the page was not loaded. We will be getting some exception usually when you are working on any kind of a web applications while loading up a browser opening up a website locating an object okay loading a screen or loading a part of a frame if there are any images are there in a web page it will take more time in such situations if at all we are not giving any synchronization commands then our script will fail to avoid all such synchronization issues we need to use wait commands in our program and in webdriver we have a two types of awaits one is an implicit wait and another is an explicit wait implicit wait is a global wait if you have a defined this wait on top of the test script it will be applicable for all the commands which are there in the entire test script okay and what it will happen means assume that i have a given 30 seconds as an implicit wait if the object is not loaded then your web driver will wait for 30 seconds for that object and if that object got loaded within 30 seconds then it will continue and proceed further operation on an object and if the object was not loaded within 30 seconds and it will fail stating that no such element exception so when we are switching from different pages we usually go with these kinds of awaits and we will be defining our automation test script with this weights itself Good. So this is all about an implicit weight and then explicit weight. What exactly an explicit weight is? Implicit weight is a global weight which is applicable for the entire web page, whereas explicit weight will be applicable for a specific object, for a specific alert or a text field, radio button. We can use this explicit weight specifically onto one object itself okay so it means in an entire web page the page got loaded but at the bottom there is an image which will take more time than the expected in such situations we will use an expected or explicit weight in that situation and we will ask our web driver to wait more time for that particular image itself or for that particular object itself in such situations we are using this explicit weight Okay, so let's switch back to our editor and let me create a basic program to explain you about these weights. And I am naming my test script as a demo 31. And let me close the other test scripts and I'm deleting all unnecessary comments from my test script so that you know I can easily understand that. And at the end of the program, I want to place this a thread dot sleep. Okay, this is opening an application and this is terminating the script and now here it's not uh, We used a browser as an instance. I'm changing. So I copied a wrong script. Anyways, let me correct it Okay, good Okay, so Once we have a, everything here in place then the next point of what I need to do is Okay, the next point what I need to do is driver dot wait. So here by default it is an implicit wait and you can specify the timeout. How much time you want, you can directly specify the implicit wait. At the starting of a program itself, you can define your implicit wait so that your test script will be applicable with that implicit wait itself. So let me open the previous test script, whatever we have this scenario. And in this situation, see here, 
driver dot implicit weight 30 seconds so globally 30 seconds will be applicable for all the objects in a web page like this we can define an implicit weight then what about this explicit weight how can we define that see this explicit weight will be defined using a web driver weight let me create an example for that. so i'm switching back to my editor here below the table rows i'm writing down my condition which is web driver weight okay so web driver weight okay web driver weight of driver comma 10 seconds mouse over on this web driver weight it is suggesting us to import this web driver weight and it got imported and now i can use until what is my condition my condition is basically you know i can specify my condition here see here until we can define our condition here visibility oh. so it should get these options one second let me cross check this syntax so for this one guys uh, we have to import the expected conditions here so i just imported this line on top of my test script expected conditions so all the expected conditions will come here expected conditions a dot see the list of conditions will be displayed so wait until the alert is present the element is located invisibility of an element element not present depending on our requirement we can choose any one of these things and as of now i'm giving it as a alert is present that's a simple thing for suppose i can use like this or i can also define instead of these expected conditions we are importing here right this expected conditions as is x now here ex dot all the options are getting displayed here either i can use as a ex and i can use a ex dot or directly i can use this expected condition depending on your requirement you can choose any one of these conditions guys so the various conditions are element located or not element clickable or not element selected or not depending on that you have to choose your uh, stuff and I am choosing no element present exception or no such element all these are kind of a things we can choose any one of these stuff here so this is the way how can we configure these weights implicit weight and an explicit weight depending on your project needs we can configure any one of these weights cool good enough thank you bye, -bye.